My name is John Chadwick. I work at Gibson's Foods. I'm a um, maintenance engineer and supervisor. Day to day, um, my job is to first of all keep an eye on, on all the machinery and um, to react to any um, problems, any breakdowns. Um, also, I look after the whole site um, regards to the, the building materials themselves. Uh, my interest in school, believe it or not, weren't actually school related. I was never showed an interest in uh, school work particularly. Basically, I was just looking forward to getting out of there and, and doing things outside of school, um, such as uh, I used to play around with motorcycles quite a lot, um, which I still do. I was very headstrong when I left, uh, before I left school, and I'd, I'd made, made up my mind probably the year before I left that I was going to leave straight away. I think the reason why I decided to leave uh, rather than go through um, sixth form was um, money and just to keep up with my friends who were working and like and freedom. Yeah, I don't don't think I had a plan of life. It was just, I just muddled on through and let um, circumstances um, dictate wh where it where it led me. My first job when I left school was actually working on a poultry farm, which I did for a couple of months. But it was quite a messy job and I didn't particularly enjoy it, it was just for the money, basically. My friends um, at the time probably were on a considerable amount of money more than me, so I was always looking for jobs that paid more. And just through the job centre I, I found another job, which was working in, in a, um, a factory. I started um, just on the, in, on the process as a, um, a sort of machine operator. There was the, um, the chances to um, carry out a bit of routine maintenance on machinery. I think that might have sparked my interest in machinery but like I said before I had a mechanical um, bias uh, just from working on motorcycles and cars. Just gradually um, through working on machinery in the factory um, I found myself being uh, handed more and more maintenance to be done. I worked in, in the factory for four years and unfortunately eventually um, the company that I worked for went bust and I was made redundant. Um, I spent a short time on the dole. I put my details with a, with a temping agency and I got myself a job in a paper mill um, where I found the money was extremely well. I, I was probably on four or five times the salary of my friends and they were very, very good times. The job there lasted for almost four years, I think, um, on and off. I was only temporary there, unfortunately, and they lost a contract. And then I unfortunately found myself uh, back on the dole again. Uh, it's not very nice being unemployed. I never found it very nice being unemployed. Um, I did everything I could to get a job as quick as possible, to be honest. A friend of mine owned an engineering company and I approached him for a job and he knew from uh, my past, uh, my mechanical abilities with vehicles, uh, motorcycles, because also he was, that was one of his hobbies as well. And he took me on on a temporary basis and I was originally, was going to be a welder fabricator and I think uh, the way I ended up here was there was a guy that was off uh, sick and I, he put me in here for two weeks and I seemed to get on very well and I never looked back. I think my biggest hobby outside of work is actually um, scuba diving. Um, I've just recently come back from Scotland and I've been to Egypt twice this year. One of my ambitions would be to, uh, to train people to, to scuba dive. The club that I, I'm a part of at the moment, a lot of people put their time in for free and it's nice to pay them back by also putting my time in for free and to carry on the club by bringing new recruits in and, and training them. If I, if I had my time over and I was going to do it again, I would definitely uh, look for further education at Sixth Form College. I'm quite happy with where I'm at now, but I think I could have been here uh, a lot earlier.